praise the Lord, the mightiest prophet of the Lord. Amen, Pastor Michael. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you, Michael. Well, uh, Michael, the Lord has spoken with me. The Lord has had a conversation with me, a very, very critical conversation that I would like to share with uh, our listeners globally. You are listeners. Uh, I am going to describe this mighty conversation, mighty vision of the Lord. And after I describe, then I'm going to be able to read a one page write up that I've just finished writing on this vision. Now, in that vision, the Lord, the God of Israel, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, He lifted me up and He took me to a place on the earth here, a place. And when I reached at that place, He asked me to look up into the sky. And I remember very well that when I looked up into the sky, I saw tremendous glory like the sun. Again, the glory I saw was so tremendous like the sun to the extent that I could not stare at it. I could not look at that glory with my naked eyes. The glory that was shining like the sun. And I remember very well in this tremendous vision that I'm releasing today, even on to the church globally, that as I looked up at the glory that was like the sun and I could not stare at it, I saw a lot of rays that that glory was beaming towards the earth. And the rays, the glory beam covered the entire surface of the earth, up to the ends of the earth, all the way to the horizons of the earth, meaning it really encompassed the whole earth. That is when the Lord again said unto me, the voice spoke from heaven and said, Look, the Messiah is coming. And I remember so well, that when I looked towards the left side of the sky, then I saw a flash, the glory, the big glory that was like the sun, now in the direction facing east, flashed like lightning twice, cha -cha. flashed very fast, like lightning, cha -cha. again, when I looked left, having heard the voice that said, look, the Messiah is coming. And when I looked left, in the sky, in the direction facing east, the direction of east, the glory, the massive glory, like the sun, flashed like lightning twice. Cha -cha. And I remember so well that all was finished right there. Everything ended right there. And then God the Father, He made me know that the church was not prepared. That the church was not ready. Even as this happened. And then sadness gripped my heart. The melancholy of the sadness that gripped the Lord's heart. He passed it on to me. And it was too much for me to bear. And I began to weep bitterly and throwing myself on the ground severally, weeping all the time and throwing myself down as to why the church did not make it. And so in this write-up now, 
this is what I have written about this mega vision. And I said, I have seen the tremendous, unusual vision of the Oba regarding events about to happen to the earth. The Lord all of a sudden took me to a place at which he asked me to look up into the sky. And when I looked up into the sky, I was very stunned to witness the glory of the Lord so intense as the sun in a bright, clear summer day. However, as I looked up into the sky, I quickly noticed that the glory of Jehovah that was coming, as a matter of fact, radiated with great intensity and power downwards from heaven to the earth. The glory I saw radiating from heaven beamed patterns of glorious rays that emerged from the Lord in heaven and consumed the entire expanse of the earth. And I've written here that the rays of the glory were so br brilliant that I could not face with my naked eyes that glory of Jehovah that came from heaven was so powerful that it ran across the entire sky. The rays of the glory shot out with so much intensity that it literally beamed the entire surface of the earth. As the glory of Jehovah radiated from heaven, it was so bright as the sun, so no man could face that glory of Jehovah that beamed towards the earth was in a spectacular glorious set of rays that almost went into a dome-like formation that covered the entire sky and engulfed, consumed the whole earth its ends their rows. when I saw how the tail ends of those beams of glory of Jehovah touched the entire horizon of the earth and all around, then I realized that no living creation on this earth will escape this humongous historic event. That is the point at which the voice spoke from heaven saying, look, the Messiah is coming. At that moment, when I looked towards my left, I saw the massive glory of the Lord flashing like lightning from the sky in the direction of east. The beaming of the massive glory of Jehovah that I saw happened in a flash, in the twinkling of an eye. After the glory flashed twice like lightning, pia pia, in the east direction, I vividly remember that the Lord made me know that the church out there was, as a matter of fact, not ready, even as the Messiah came. In that tremendous vision of Jehovah, the Lord indeed shook me when he lamented that the church, which was not prepared, had actually just missed the rapture. That is when the Lord made me know how sad he felt in his heart that the church was not ready in the advent of the Messiah. The Lord Jehovah at that time transferred his sadness into my heart and I felt the melancholy of his heart to the extent that I could bear no more. That is what caused me to break down and bitterly weep while throwing myself severally on the ground. I still remember too well that I wept on and on uncontrollably for a very long time on the ground while repeatedly throwing myself on the ground. In that vision of Jehovah, 
the Lord made me know right away that the reason the church was not ready is because she had not yet devoted herself to the holiness of the Lord, and neither had she embraced his unfailing righteousness. What clearly emerged out of this vision is the fact that I have heard the voice of the archangel himself audibly announce the coming of the Messiah. However, we should never lose sight of the fact that the Lord is saying that there will soon be a tremendous event that will constitute the greatest sign and wonder ever witnessed ever since the earth was created. This event will happen soon in the skies above the earth and will stun the entire earth in a manner never seen before. The rocks, the trees, the mountains, the rivers, the oceans and the lakes, they are in. Needless to say, the Lord is grieved that they are prepared state of the church. In other words, the Lord Jehovah is saying that the, the Messiah is coming and the church is not yet mature, not yet perfect. She is still not yet without spot. She is not yet without stain. She is not yet without wrinkle to enter his glorious, perfect, eternal kingdom. Upon waking up from this mighty vision of the Lord, I panicked and felt very sad for the church because I have already seen the majority of them miss the rapture. I remember that when I woke up, I continued weeping, weeping and crying, weeping and tossing myself. May those who have ears listen to the voice of the Lord. The Messiah is coming. And this is he about whom the scriptures were written, saying, And I shall send you my messenger ahead of you to prepare your way. Now, in that conversation, that mighty, mighty, mighty critical vision of the Lord, the most critical vision of Jehovah, the big warning that the Lord has just spoken today, throwing myself on the floor, weeping, gnashing my teeth, rolling on the soil, weeping again and again, throwing myself severally on the floor, throwing myself this side again, weeping again, crying that the church was not ready, throwing myself down and feeling the sadness and the pain and the melancholy, feeling the grief that the church was not ready, that the church did not make it. Well, I want to bring this to the attention of your listeners, that when the Lord in that mighty, mighty vision made me throw myself, throw myself, throw myself again on the floor, weeping, gnashing of teeth, again crying, getting up and throwing myself down, the Lord was essentially saying that this is how those who will miss the rapture will be at that moment. After the rapture of the church takes place, after the coming of the Messiah is accomplished, is realized, those that the Lord said the church was not ready, the majority I saw that remained, they will be throwing themselves on the floor, throwing themselves on the ground, rolling on the ground, gnashing teeth, weeping uncontrollably. Those who will fail to enter, they will throw themselves on the ground, they will roll on the ground, they will gnash their teeth, they will weep, they will throw themselves again repeatedly, severally. But the coming of the Messiah and the taking of the church will be totally irreversible, irretrievable. It will not be repeated. It will have gone like that. Those 
those who have ears, listen to the voice of the Lord. Again, this is the voice that is crying out in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, return to righteousness and holiness, repent of all sin, disconnect from the immoralities and the orgies of this world. May those who have ears listen to the voice of the Lord. The Messiah is coming. And this is he about whom the scriptures were written, saying, And I shall send you my messenger ahead of you to prepare your way. Shalom. Shalom.